Good morning, folks. Little filaments are popping. Active region on the north still alive. There are a few CMEs leaving the far side of the sun, but it's quiet facing Earth. And at spaceweathernews.com, we find the last 24 hours with the primary space weather feature being the northern coronal hole. Its solar wind could arrive at Earth in about two or three days, but otherwise, all is quiet. The northern sunspot group just can't find anyone to play with up there, and without the magnetic interaction, it's a quiet sunspot, no flaring. All solar wind is calm as well, so let's stop over at quakewatch.net for the blot echo wind map. There are numerous blot echoes of note, especially around where the tropical systems formed this last week. Let's go to our first article where investigations of a radio bridge between stellar objects reveals water vapor in the immediate environment of a star. In our 2013 Star Water series, we went over how ubiquitous water is in the cosmos. They've even found water in sunspots. This is the key reason why Earth is less special than most believe. Up next, it's a look at pre-seismic electromagnetism once again. This one, right in line with what the Seismo Electromagnetic Satellite is looking for. There are actually specific flavors of that anomaly before, during, and after the quake. As quick a little climate jab as can be had here, volcanic uncertainty causes tremendous spreads in the potential effect and overall volcanic forcing numbers used in climate science. This was one of the major problems we identified in our special video May 5th, specifically in line with B1, their struggle to apply adequate treatment to volcanic forcing. Last but not least, folks, we are discussing lightning. In the last few years, we've seen records fall for lightning power, the distance it can travel to strike, the numbers of upward and positive lightning, and overall a record in the Arctic, up 300% in about a decade. This is critical because without actual magnetic field updates, they're only possible once every few years. The things we have to watch in the interim are space weather impact effects and Earth's changing electromagnetic character. We've shown the less exciting ones as well, like the critical frequency changes, polar summer mesospheric echo changes, and the unusual F region currents. This one is not only simple, it's as simply as it could be stated. They have evidence for a new scenario for the initiation of positive lightning. Chances it's always been there and they just missed it? Not good. Chances it's another sign of our planet's changing electrical state and the ongoing magnetic excursion? Quite high. The shift marches on. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.